spend another $60 on groceries. So, so much for the low spend month. Anyways, I thought I'd show you guys I got a 20 pound bag of rice for um, somewhere between seven and eight dollars. And it fills half of a five gallon bucket and that will last us for a very, very long time. So if any of you are interested in a zero waste kind of lifestyle, uh, I used the last of my cilantro today. Like I usually cut it with the scissors, but then it reaches to a certain point to where there's just more stock than there is leaf. So what I did was I saved those stalks and I'm dehydrating them now. Um, but I don't know. I'll probably dry them and then powder them into like a powdered dried cilantro. However, I plugged the dehydrator into our kilowatt to see how much money it actually costs to dehydrate and then use this extra cilantro. And so far, so far it's about eight uh, seven, yeah, about seven cents, and they're not dry yet. Put this thing in the fridge because I didn't want to bake it right away, and it kind of, yeah, kind of busted, <laughs> busted right out of the yeah. plastic wrap. Pretty excited about some books I got at the library. Volume 1, or Volume 2 and Volume 3, they didn't have Volume 1, of the Bread Machine Cookbook by Donna German. And these books are copyright 1991. They go perfectly with my thrift store bread machine that was $4.04, but wait, it was half off. So... Two dollars and two cents, and this bad boy has been making bread for us for the last year or two. It's worked very well, even though it's very old, but I am super excited to learn about more breads that I can make with my old bread machine. So frugal tip, if you want to live really, really cheap, just live like it's 20 or 30 years ago. You can get all your stuff at the thrift store and the library and garage sales. And everything goes together. Everything works well. First loaf of bread with my new cookbook. The flavor is good, uh, but the texture is just really, really dense. This one had applesauce um, and oatmeal and flour, oil. Um... Some cinnamon so the flavor was good but I think the applesauce I don't somehow either the yeast didn't work out or somehow the applesauce made it really heavy so this is probably not a repeat one um, but I put some butter and cream cheese on it toasted it and it'll probably be okay so first recipe Fail. Freezing some pork roast. I bought one of those big pork loins. Uh, it was like it was like a five pound pork loin um, for like a buck fifty a pound. So what I did was I just cut them into roasts, and I was gonna put uh, one roast per pint jar. But then I got to thinking, and I'm like, well, if I'm gonna do a roast, I'll probably do cook two at a time um, just because these are kind of small so I don't know I'm kind of into the batch cooking right now though so I decided to just put two in a jar and I just literally put them in the jar and then put the tops on you want to leave the tops a little loose when they're first frozen just in case they expand I think the breakage usually only happens when there's like liquid in it because there's plenty of room in here for this stuff to expand. Um, and I've done it this way before and it works pretty well. So that's how I freeze the meat. And I like to do this rather than the plastic bags because I can reuse these jars with meat. Um, when I put meat in a plastic bag, I'm pretty much done with it. It's one time use only. So I know this is super gross but I wanted to show you. 
have multiple seeds that I just scrubbed out of our compost bucket that are sprouting. Can you believe that? I could literally replant those and have them in my garden this year. I want to show you, uh, here's one that I picked out of the, it wasn't in the compost, it was actually sprouting inside a fruit or vegetable, and I don't even remember what it was when I put it in this pot. I was like, hey, I'll stick it in here and see if it grows, and it's grown. It really works, people. Here's an amaryllis that I got on sale around Christmas time. So this was two fifty. It doesn't say what it was, but I'm guessing it was probably around um, four or five dollars. And I also got um oh yeah that one that one was an amaryllis stargazer and this one is look at how beautiful that is already. That one is paper white. So yeah, these are going to be beautiful winter flowers that weren't even very expensive. 